food prices are inching up in the United States, but not at the rate it was previously feared. Late in the U.S. Department of Agriculture reports the consumer price index for food rose a tenth of a percent in July. Now the food at home category was unchanged in July, but it is up 1% from a year earlier. The food away from home category was up two tenths of a percent in July, and that's an overall increase of 2.1% from last year. Market to Market's Mike Pearson reports that last year's drought hasn't caused food prices to jump as much as many expected. The Department of Agriculture's latest numbers indicate that the price of food will not increase as much as earlier projected. USDA expects food prices to rise only 1.5 to 2.5%, which is half of what government officials had previously predicted. USDA economist Ricky Volpe says a number of factors have contributed to the less than anticipated increase. We were initially looking at 3 to 4% increase, which was above average. That was, uh, you know, before we knew that we were going to have these lower fuel prices and the strengthening U.S. dollar, the overall improving economy. We are still looking at some food prices that are going to go up a little bit more than average and some that will go up less than average. But on the whole, we're looking at moderate food price inflation for the year, which is good news, especially given the initial outlook we had when the drought broke in July and August of, of 2012. One of the places last year's drought had a big impact was on the price of beef. Decreased corn and soybean yields led to higher grain prices. The higher feed costs forced farmers and ranchers to cull their herds, which created a short-term supply glut. But over time, the smaller supply has pushed prices higher at the meat counter. While beef prices won't be increasing as much as originally expected, the cost of beef will remain high. We're now looking at beef prices to increase between 2 and 3 percent on the year. But I should note that many beef prices have reached record or near record levels across supermarkets in the U.S. So inflation for the beef category may be small in percentage terms, but it's not as if consumers are seeing any relief there. Volpe says consumers can expect to see an increase of 2 to 3 percent, if not more, for eggs, as well as a 3 to 4 percent rise in the price of poultry. However, according to Volpe, consumers will see their dollar go further in the dairy aisle. We were initially forecasting pretty strong price increases for the year for 2013, but it turns out that we saw most of the impacts of the drought at the tail end of 2012. So we're now on track for very moderate uh, price increases for dairy for the foreseeable future.